We are here today to mark the 10 year anniversary of the Millennium Development Goals. In September 2000, Canada and leaders from 188 other countries came together to make the most important commitments of our generation. We committed to ending extreme poverty by 2015. And we're 10 years from that date. We've got five years left to go. And there's a lot to do. We've done a little bit, but we have quite a struggle ahead of us. And on Monday, leaders from these countries will be meeting again in New York to sit down to see how far we've come and what we need to do to reach these goals. So we can't just sit back. We've got to stand up and we've got to make some noise. Yeah. Let's let him develop and go. <laughs> extreme poverty. In five years, we can half the number of people living in hunger. We're not going to do it if we just continue to sit back and let Canada do what we continue to do. We've got to hear it for goal number one. <laughs> primary education. 50 million boys and 65 million girls still aren't in school. So what are we going to say for children across the world? <laughs> the next goal is to eradicate gender discrimination and provide balance. 70% of the 1.3 billion people living in poverty are women and girls. So what do we say to women across the world? The next two goals are about mothers. Still, across the world, child mortality is incredibly high. We've made some progress here. We've got a ways to go. And every minute of every day, unfortunately still today, a woman dies in childbirth. So let's hear it for the mothers across the world. Today in 2010, we still have 33.2 million people living with HIV AIDS. We also need to, we need to start making sure we're environmentally sustainable and we need to call upon our governments to make a strong global partnership for development. Development comes from within. We need to appreciate that, treat our partners as stakeholders and stand up for this on Monday for the Millennium Development Group Summit. So let's hear it for reducing AIDS, environmental sustainability and a global partnership. <laughs> Again, we made these commitments because we can do it. We know what it takes. It's not rocket scientists. We need nurses, we need doctors, we need teachers, we need commitments, and most importantly, we need you. So thank you for standing up and making noise for the Mind of Development Goals. Yeah.